Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. I am so excited. In today's video, we are going to talk about the meaning of Sunday. And I have a little brief pick a card for you at the end to give you a message for Sunday. So first, when you think about the sun, the sun, all of the planets rotate around the sun, right? So when you think about Sunday and you think about the sun, who is rotating around your life? Who is in your inner circle? Who can you count on? Who thinks the sun rise and set on your behind, on your hiney? Those are the people you need to spend Sundays with. That's the energy of Sunday. Now, when you think of Sunday, I want you to think of the letter R. Like, you know, we're going to go back to our Sesame Street days. I want you to think about radiating, rotating, recuperating, rejuvenating, and relaxing so when you think about sunday and you the sun you know the, uh, well we know the sun is a star right so it's this really bright star as a matter of fact it's the brightest thing that we can see object in the sky so sunday is the perfect day for radiating or shining so let's just say that you want a promotion from your job and you're trying to think sunday it's the best day to invite your boss over. I, I couldn't even get my words out. Sunday is the best day to do something special, to shine. So just remember when you're tapping into the energy of Sunday, you're thinking to yourself, how can I get my shine on? And it's the perfect day that if you do any type of spiritual work, visualization, any type of magic, spell work, whatever, you want to do it on a Sunday if it's related to fame and success and prosperity. Because it's a day that has strong masculine energy. It's also a really good day for people who want to campaign. So if you're running for office and you want to go door to door, it is the perfect day for going door to door, for socializing, for talking to people, for shining, for being social, right? And another thing for Sunday, another power of Sunday is that it's a perfect day for gardening. Now, what's interesting about Sunday being a perfect day for gardening is that I think it was in 321 I'm not really the best with dates it was 321 or 329 there was a meeting and I can't think of the name of the meeting but this is when the real Saint Nicholas I'm talking about the real Santa Claus who turned into the Saint Nicholas who turned into Santa Claus they had a meeting to determine you know what would Jesus and God's powers be and what days of the week and everything at this meeting they decided that Sunday would be the Lord's Day it would be the day for people to relax except for people who were involved in agriculture because Sun nourishes the earth and they said no they can't have Sundays off so Sunday is a perfect day for gardening I'm, I'm really telling you the truth so if you want to garden, if you want to cook, you know, nourishing food, if you want to have family gatherings, Sunday is the perfect day. Another activity that is really good for Sundays it is uh, illum like the, the word is illumination. So illuminate, so remember the sun, it shines this really bright light, right? So when we illuminate, we expand, we grow, we become more conscientious, we become more intelligent, smart. This is why people go to church, to become enlightened, right? To become illuminated. So it's a perfect day for meditating, for reading the Bible or whatever spiritual literature or you know books that you use it's a day for expanding your mind because you want to illuminate and become brighter become smarter become better and it's also um the, the colors for for sunday um that are related to the sun are orange yellow and gold and the gemstones for sunday are of course the beautiful sunstone I happen to have one here and I actually have a video about the sunstone and its purposes and how it you know shines a light on onto situations and it brings illumination and information to you you see people for who you are and it gives you a lot of power to speak up for yourself and kind of makes you a beast okay another gemstone for Sunday is the carnelian Yep, the carnelian, which is a orange. And then also the tiger's eye is another gemstone. Oh, I love this gemstone. Oh my God, isn't it a beauty? This is another gemstone for Sunday. So you you might, so let's just say that you are 
really trying to get your life together. Okay, you just like I'm just really I'm in a rut. I don't know what to do. Sunday is a really good day to work on your dreams and your goals. So remember the sun shining, illuminating, right? So what you might want to do is wear yellow or gold or orange, but I would wear yellow or a, a golden yellow. I think that would be the best color. You might want to, you know, if if possible, they, they say you should like, you know, because I, I wouldn't gaze at the sun, but just sit in the sun, to soak in the energy, uh, keep a journal, like maybe write down what it is that you really want to accomplish. Now, I like to tell people who are who don't really know what their purpose is or what it is they want to do don't give it a name because for example if you say I want to be a teacher sometimes I think when people say teacher the word teacher has a lot of energy attached to it and when you think of a teacher you think of somebody who was in a classroom whether it's in an elementary school or kindergarten or college but there's a certain box around the title so I think you should make a list of things that really make you happy do you like talking to people in groups do you like talking to people individually do you want to be on the inside do you want to work you know do you want to have every day be different than the day before like some people like if you're a truck driver or you know just think about what you enjoy like don't give it don't say I want to be a dancer a singer a truck driver no just what do you like to do and think about and the most important thing that I tell people all the time who are looking for their purpose because you want to be illuminated on this day to align with your purpose is I always tell people think about the mood that you want people to be in when you are working with them so now I say this to say that sometimes people say oh my god I love kids I, l- I love to always be a pediatrician but I remember when my daughter was very young she wanted to be a pediatrician but then she realized the kids in the office are always crying well if you go to a pediatrician where do you go you usually you're sick they give you a shot right so you have to really think about the the general attitude or mood that you want people to have you want to help people um, I know that psychiatrists have the highest suicide rate among you know of, uh, I think of all the professions next to a dentist maybe they go back and forth so what I'm saying is when you think about working with people what mindset do you want them to have like for example I love working at a college because most of the people are self-selected they want to be there but when I was a social worker people were they didn't want to be there so if you're working with people who are in a situation that they don't want to be in then that's going to affect your mood so Sunday is the perfect day for you and I actually have I think I have an article I'm gonna look for it and see can I link it in my description box to help you kind of really figure out now do this on a Sunday because remember you're gonna have the energy of Sunday helping you to illuminate to radiate to shine to look within your soul to connect with your you know the oneness of the universe to figure out to remember because not to figure out but to remember why you here and what it is you want to accomplish the best scents or oils for Sunday, essential oils for Sunday, are frankincense, sandalwood, sun oil, and lemon oil. And the best herb for Sunday, when I say best, I mean the, the herbs that, if you look in all of the spiritual books, that say that aligns with the energy of Sunday is St. John Warts. Now the thing is that I've, I took St. John Warts for years because it really is a good herb. It, it, it chills you out and it helps you just relax. Like you may have the exact same problems, but when you take St. John Warts, I, I don't know, I found that it helped me sleep. It helped me ground myself and you know just go at life at my own pace. It's, I don't know, look, this don't do anything without consulting with your, with your doctor. It, St. John Wars is just an herb that you can buy at any um, drugstore. And people during wars, uh, the soldiers used it for depression, to alleviate depression. And I have found that it, for me personally, it works better than any type of medication. So again, just to remember about Sunday, think about the sun is a star and it's about shining. And it's also about, you know, all of the planets rotate around the sun. Who's rotating around your life? Who is close to you? Who's in your inner circle? 
who is putting you first who is you know who thinks the sun rises and set on your hiney because that is the person that you want to spend Sundays with Sunday is a day of illuminating of illumination and enlightenment so it's a day that when you worship pray read spiritual literature become better it's a day that you relax it's a day that you rejuvenate your spirit you you uh, connect with your God your goddess whatever your beliefs are with the oneness of the universe Sunday is the best day for success wealth and fame if you are looking to be um, you know let's just say you you if you want a job you are working on your painting or your you want to do well you want to get into college you want to do better on your YouTube channel there are actually two two uh, flowers that are aligned with the energy of Sunday uh, marigolds and sunflowers so let's just say that you just want to stand out because you really need to get this job you might want to take some sunflowers and you want to put them in your fame area in feng shui now I promise you this week is I'm going to go over the different areas of feng shui but just big picture let's just say you walk in your door to your house the area that's in the center of your room that's your fame area and fame the element is fire it's all about you know being popular and being successful so you might want to get some sunflowers and you might want to you know tell them first of all how much you love them and thank them for being in your life and tell them that you know I really want to get this job I really want to I want to thank you help me find the perfect job that aligns with my gifts and talents where I will be appreciated and so forth and put it in your fame area don't let them wither and die okay that's really bad feng shui but um, also you might want to use marigold which is another beautiful flower you might want to sprinkle that in your you know or like coming into your front door or like in your wealth area which we're going to go over it's like if you walk in your door and you look to the extreme left corner that is your money area so you might want to put some marigold there and you might want to do this on a Sunday I really hope that this information um, helps someone to tap into the magic of Sunday and help you illuminate and find your place in the world. Now I do have a quick pick a card for you, so I'm gonna take the cam camera and look down, select a butterfly, and I'm gonna tell you what your Sunday message is. Jungle Beauty Goddess, the Meeb, is um, my Jungle Beauty Goddess. I think she's, what, matter of fact, Jungle Beauty Goddess, the Meeb is right here. This is the Meeb. And she represents Sunday, she represents our connection to um, God, spirit, all that is. Um, her color is purple. She represents the crown chakra. And every all of her messages are spiritual and soul related, which is and her day of the week is Sunday. So without, let me just put the camera down on the butterflies. And I'm going to select the color and then I'm going to give you a brief Sunday message. So you can select the yellow butterfly. Is this yellow? Yes, yeah, so you can select the yellow butterfly, the red and yellow butterfly, the blue butterfly, or the purple and green butterfly for your message, for your Sunday message. Hello, darling. If you selected the yellow butterfly, this is the Sunday message for you. Jungle Beauty Goddess Samee's message for you this on our first Sunday is let's see let it go some things are not meant to be known the general beauty goddesses they speak very clear if there are if there are some things that you are wondering about like maybe like why haven't this person called or why did I get the job or why did I have to have you know these parents <laughs> why does my life have to be like this the, the message for you from the me who is connected to who represents our connection to source all that is to let it go and Sunday is the perfect day for letting things go we don't need to know everything live in the moment and enjoy your day thank you so much for watching hello darling if you selected the red and yellow butterfly 
this is the Sunday message for you. Now, means the message for you today is, she represents the soul, our connection to God, as I said before. Oh, your soul is hungry, feed it solitude, walks in nature, and take deep, slow breaths. Like I said, this is a perfect message for a Sunday. So one of the things I like to do, and when I do this, it really helps me to uh, radiate. Um, it really, you know, when I meditate and when I do these breaths, it takes my ambition away. And it just, it calms me down to a degree that I just honestly don't feel comfortable. But here's, here's something you can do that really aligns you with your spirit. And I usually say it in my videos. You want to take your tongue and place it right behind your teeth. Uh huh. And you want to take up, breathe in, and you want to count to nine. So, and you want to hold it to nine. You're going to hold it and then you're going to blow it out to nine. You know, all the time you're going to have your tongue at the top of your roof, at the roof of your, the roof of your mouth, right behind your teeth. Do this nine times really slow and you'll find yourself super relaxed. This is a perfect thing to do when you first wake up in the morning, before you go to bed at night, before a job interview, before you say something that you really don't mean and you you know you want to go off on somebody. It is it really just just really settles your mind into your spirit. Thank you so much. I really hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling. If you selected the blue butterfly, this Sunday message is for you. Your message from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. Get her in focus here. Her message for you is Is it for your highest good and the highest good for all? This is a very powerful message. Sometimes when we make decisions, we only think about, you know, how is it going to affect the other person or how is it just going to affect us. But the truth is, when we make a decision, we should think about, is it for our own highest good and the highest good for all? And when you think about like, well, if I do this, is this going to have a positive impact on somebody? Is this, could this potentially, you know, um, I, you know, this word just popped in my head. It's like, say you want to, you know, date somebody who you know is in a relationship or, you, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes we think, that, well, this is what I want. I, I, you know, I know there's a lot of school of people who feel like you can do whatever you want to do, but I believe that you should align yourself with what is for your highest good. And when it's for your highest good, it's going to also be for the highest good of others. Like for example, if you know you don't like really like kids, don't teach because you know, but some people say, but I want summers off. It seems like a pretty cool gig. So it may be, is that for the highest good of all? Is that, are, have you had teachers before or and you thought like, oh my God, like why is this person even teaching? Because they wanted their summers off. But was that for your highest good? And how many kids could have had a totally different life outcome if they had not had a teacher who really didn't like the job? Or you work with somebody, um, you go to a restaurant and you can tell the person hate their job. And service is horrible. But they're thinking like, well, these are really good hours for me. So when we're talking about for our highest good and the highest good for all, we're thinking not about just how it's going to benefit us, but how, what is going to be the long-term benefit for the one, for everybody, for, you know, for, for the highest good of humanity. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darling. If you selected the purple and green butterfly, what a color combo, right? Then this message is for you. So this is your Sunday message from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. Her message to you is, if it is not going to matter in a million years, it doesn't matter today. So what she is saying to you is that we are infinite beings and sometimes we get caught up in the things the, the small things the things that really don't matter like oh should i should you know should it be hot pink or fuchsia should i do like yellow or should i do a lemon yellow like sometimes 
you know, we're not thinking about the things that's going to matter in a million years. And when I say a million years, what what's going on in your life right now that you could just say, you know what, I'm going to leave the laundry route alone because I really need to go study for my task. Because studying for my task is going to help me finish my degree so that I could get into med school and save lives. You understand what I'm saying? Like when you are planning out your life, think about what is really important to you. What what impact are you going to have on the world because of the decisions you're making right now? Are you getting caught up in the little things that at the end of the day is really not going to matter? I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.